Hello everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be playing some more OP07 Bonnie. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with this deck recently. It's been really consistent. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just been a lot of fun to play. I, I really love her leader ability to just be able to, to rest um, any character's opponents um, on attack. So yeah, um, today's video we're going to be focusing on the yellow matchup because uh, the two gameplay footages that I got today were against uh, two Vegapunk decks. So uh, yeah, let's hop into the ma matches and see how it goes. Sorry for the stutter, but um, yeah, so into our first matchup, we're going to have this Vegapunk here. Uh, this was my first matchup into the Vegapunk match. I wasn't really sure how to play against it because I've played Vegapunk, but I've never played against it. Um, so it was kind of a first for me. I really didn't know how to play into it, especially because the leader can attack. So I felt like in the beginning, my leader effect was kind of useless because he can only attack with things on the board. And if I just kept getting rid of it, it was kind of weird to play around. Um, so yeah, it was kind of a little bit awkward to play into, but uh, I figured it out kind of just got a star of the Vegapunk from all of his cards and it was a very long game I had to speed up the game 120% because I'm not gonna lie this first match lasted 12 rounds like it, it lasted 12 turns and it was taking forever for me to finally get him down to like to the point where I can end game but man it was a fun match I'm not gonna lie so shout out to the people who were play testing the dev versions of this game uh shout out you guys were fun to play against but yeah, so I played a baby 5 searcher and I think I got a 2k counter out of it. And then he swung 6k with his, uh, I think that's Atlas. Oh, Pythagoras. He swung Pythagoras into my baby 5 searcher, so I just let it die. Couldn't use leader effect there because there's no point in resting the leader. So it is what it is. Um, here I'm going to play the, um, I forgot, his, uh, the rogue. So I can get a rested dawn set up to active at the end of my turns. So that way I can use my leader effect. And uh, he takes the first two hits. So, um, I'm like, cool, that's, uh, whatever, we got him down to zero life, so he's gonna have, he's gonna at most have one life. Um, so yeah, he swings 5k with the Frankie, and I'm gonna use my leader ability to probably rest the Atlas, just because the Atlas can be kind of annoying with, with, uh, her ability not being able to get KO'd by battle, uh, if you have less life than your opponent. So I take the 5k hit, because I really don't want to use a 2k counter for the, you know, for the 5k hit. And then he's going to swing 6k into me, so that at that point I will counter out with the uh, baby 5 card. Uh, he has, what is that, 6 dawn up? Yeah, he has 6 dawn up, so he's going to use 1 to probably give himself life, and then 4, or not 4, 5 to play something. So he plays the rush ace, which I wasn't expecting, but uh, it does make sense. I have been seeing the Vegapunk decks run the rush ace, and uh, running the ST, what is it, 13 or 14? I think it's 13. Yeah, ST 13 Kid Luffy. Uh in combo with the uh, five drop Luffy from OP07. So it was pretty interesting to see the kid version of Luffy being played into this deck. But uh, yeah, so with the 7K swing, I did end up, uh, I took it and then he uses his leader effect to rest the Dawn and put the top life or one card into uh, the top of his life face up. So I play a Bonnie Searcher and I search with it, getting a Basil Hawkins, and then I play the um, the uh, Cavendish card, so I can get the two Rested Dawn active, setting or setting two Dawn to Bonnie and uh, swing at the Frankie to get rid of his bodies, and then with the Rogues uh, blocker effect, I just set up the Dawn is active again, so that way I can use my leader effect uh, consistently without having to worry about setting up my Dawn or leaving up a Dawn. So he swings 7k into my Bonnie, and I did mess up. I meant to use the leader effect there, but I clicked too fast. So it is what it is. Uh, I let the Bonnie die, and then he swings with the Atlas. And then at that point, that's when I use my leader effect to rest his uh, Pythagoras. And then he plays an 8-drop Katakuri, putting the uh, Basil Hawkins, I think it was. Uh, no, not the Basil Hawkins. He puts the Cavendish at the bottom of my life. So that sucked. Um, here I'm kind of thinking, like, Am I safe to go for the 9-drop Zoro? And I do end up going for it because I have 5 life, I think it is. And he has uh, 4 things that he can swing with. So he can't kill me. Plus, I do have a blocker. So I'm chilling. And he can't get rid of the Rush... Or not the Rush Zoro. The 9-drop Zoro. Because uh, there's no yellow card that can really target a 9-drop. Maybe the Yamato that he just played. But I wasn't... We weren't at 9 life. So there's no way he could have gotten rid of it. Um, So he's going to swing 8k to my life. And I'm just going to use the leader effect to rest the... Uh, the rush ace and then I take the 8k swing and then he's gonna swing 6k with the atlas I take again and then 6k with the Pythagoras at that point I counter out 
Um, so yeah, I kind of wanted to rest the ace because I, I knew I could counter out of the other two hits, but the ace hit was going to be a little bit harder to counter out of. Um, especially with like my hand right now, I don't really have a lot of counters, so I got to kind of uh, take the hits that I can and take the kids that I can't. Uh, so his life does have the, uh, I forgot what his name is. Um, something with an S, I forgot what his name is, but he has the blocker in his trigger. So I'm not really going to swing into life here and try to go for game because I know I can't with the rest or the nine jobs or so I'm just going to swing into his board uh, and force him to have little cards in hand and, you know, force him to take a lot of these hits. And I'm probably not going to be able to play much. I do want to play the rogue so that way I can get my rested dawn back but right now i'm just swinging into all of his life or not to his life to his board and i did get rid of the atlas because he has more life than me so the effect doesn't go through anymore uh so he lets the first two cards die and here i'm just like debating like i'm trying to think with my math and my dawn but i'm gonna play the uh, a rogue first so that way i can guarantee it and then swing 12k into the eight drop and he lets it go and now i'm just gonna swing 5k into his life so he doesn't you know keep stacking life and then I pass turn, setting the Dawn as active. Uh, so yeah, this isn't the, the game that I was talking about, the 12 turn game. I think it's the next game. This one was a little bit annoying, but uh, you know I did end up figuring it out. Um, and it was kind of a little bit lucky because I started running out of counter. So it was at the point where if I don't end the game soon, I'm going to die. So he swings 9k into my uh, Tesoro and I rest the um, the Rush Ace. I could have rested the, the Shura Blocker. I think that's what it's called. Um, but I could have rested the blocker, but I decided I'm just going to play it safer and rest his other attacker just because I don't want him to swing again into the Rush Sorrow. So I counter out for the Rush Sorrow, not the Rush, I keep calling it Rush Sorrow. I counter out for the Nine Drop Zoro to stay alive, and then he swings 11k into my Zoro, and I'm trying to do the math here, seeing if I can save it, and I can. So I'm going to use the Baby 5 and the Rogue to counter out, and then he's going to use Leader Effect to probably put something at the top of his life. He plays an Atlas. Um, so yeah, we're chilling right now. Uh, I'm probably just gonna keep going for board again because he only has four cards in hand. He does have three life, but I'm not really too worried about that with the nine drop Zoro. So I'm just gonna use the nine drop Zoro in my advantage to try to get rid of his board. Um, Cause it is looking like, uh, you know, I can't really counter out a much. I can counter out 1K and then with my blocker and my life potentially giving me a 2K. Uh, I know the Cavendish is on a counter card, so I really do need to go for board here. So I swing 10k into, or not 10k, I swing 11k into the ace and he takes it. Swing another 11k to the Yamato. He is going to counter out. I was hoping he was going to block it so I can try to like guarantee that hit, but he doesn't. He uh, counters out. And uh, I didn't notice this at this moment, but he had a Gadatsu in the hand. And uh, when he played another one later, I was really confused. I was like, what the fuck? He has a Gadatsu? Um... But yeah, so he counters out of the Yamato swing and then I just attach all Dawn swing to the ace to get rid of that because I know I can at least get rid of the ace. So he gets rid of the ace and then I swing 11k to the Yamato and he just blocks it, which I'm fine with. Um, it's just one swinger he can attack with, so I can block it if I really need to. I do mess up though uh, and you'll see this part coming up. But um, yeah, so I set my Dawn as active with the Arogue. Once again, the Arogue coming in clutch so many times. It's just such a good card uh, into the Bonnie game play. Uh, I guess Cavendish can also be good, but I don't have a Cavendish on the board because as soon as I played it, he bottom decked it with the Katakiri, so it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, he plays a 10 drop ace here. And uh, now I'm kind of like, okay, fuck, I, gotta, <laughs> I really got to get rid of this Yamato because right now two big bodies is going to hurt. So I play the uh, Basil Hawking's blocker. So I can um, um, just have another big blocker on the board. I swing 9k into his uh, Yamato and he takes it. Uh, telling me that he doesn't really have a lot of counter cards in hand. But he did get a Nico Robin off the trigger. So um, he does have more cards in hand. So here I'm just thinning out his life because um, I don't want him to keep getting life to the point where this 9 drop Zoro is not going to be able to finish the game, you know? So... I'm just getting him down to one life and um, he plays the uh, blocker and the atlas again. What is that blocker called, man? I can't remember it. Shaka. That's what it's called. Shaka. I, I said Shura earlier, but it's I knew it wasn't true. It's a Shaka. 
So he plays the Shaka from the trigger. Uh, that card is the bane of my existence because it just keeps rest, or it just it's just a free blocker to play. And then if he has the uh, the event card from the trigger, he can play it from the trash. So that Shaka is going to be annoying to deal with. But uh, he plays the five drop Luffy, trashing my uh, Rogue, and then he's going to swing 12k into the um, into the Zoro. And here I did mess up. Um, I should have just let it die, maybe. Uh, because I could have probably gone for game next turn with the uh, with the five drop basil or no, not five drop the six drop basil, but I blocked it and then I realized like he's just gonna attach all the dawn to the atlas and swing uh, to the Zoro, so I had to let it die because I don't have car I only have a two K counter. Um, but you know, luckily for me, uh, Vega Punk can't attack, so he has three things rested. So I'm just gonna play the ten drop Dofi and freeze his um, his three cards. And then here I'm kind of debating if I want to swing uh, to get on my body, but I do end up swinging and I don't have the leader effect, but it doesn't really matter because um, if, if the other opponent is smart, they're just going to swing with the Pythagoras first and then play whatever they want. So um, I figured, you know, there's no point in keeping a Dawn up and there's no point in me trying to keep a Dawn up. Uh, so I just swing 5k to life and he takes it. Uh, so now I'm kind of just here waiting to see what he's going to end up doing. So uh, he's going to attach one Dawn to the Pythagoras swinging 7k to me. I'm going to take it because I can't counter out. Um, and I'm, it's not like I can, you know, there's not really much to worry about. You know, at worst, he plays another 7 drop ace or a 10 drop ace. And uh, or he can't even play a 10, a 10 drop ace. At worst, he can play a 7 drop ace and get me down to zero life. But he plays a Gadatsu and then uses leader effect to uh, put the uh, please save me, I think it's called. The event card, which on trigger lets him... Uh, play a five cost or less from the trash active uh so he did have three dawn up so i was like i don't think he's gonna run any events because uh he doesn't really i played the deck before and there's no really events that you know maybe the zero cost event but i i wasn't expecting any like events to save him here so i swing 6k he counters out with 2k and then i swing 10k to life and he has to take it um i mean he, he could counter out but uh i'm not really too worried here uh, so he's gonna probably play the Shaka from the trash and uh, try to play a bit more defensively But I'm just gonna play the Hody Jones rest it and then add two Dawn to him and swing 10k to life and I get it He had I think I think he could do 9k um, But I did take the dub So into our second match here. This was the first match that I recorded. Uh, sorry for the flashbang of my Spotify I'm trying to move it. There it is um, But yeah, this was the first match that I played of the night and uh, I was kind of like I don't know how to play against the Vegabunk, so I might do some misplays, but we'll see. Um, this was this is a long match. It, it's a turn 12 match, so we'll see what happens. So starting off, I play the Jewelry Bonnie Searcher, and I get the Cavendish card. Not sure what else there was. I think it was a bunch of other don't, uh, Rosinantes, or I don't know what there was in the search. I didn't see it, but I get the uh, Cavendish and then I search with the baby five and get a 10 cost Dofi. So now I have two in my hand It's gonna be good for late game and then I just swing 5k to life uh, Which he countered out of I think oh no, he took it and it was a uh, it was a it was the searcher. So Yeah um, So he has a searcher now and then he swung uh, 6k or I forgot how much he swung but he, he got rid of my Bonnie searcher uh, So I'm at my five dawn turn. I'm kind of debating on what I want to do uh, I was gonna. Sw I swung into the the. I forgot what her name is. The Lilith, thinking he was gonna counter out, but he let it die. So that kind of changed my plans up a bit. So I instead played the Arogue because I was planning to play the Bonnie, but he let it die. So I just played the Arogue and then searched with the Baby Five, grabbing a Rosinante, and then uh, I play the Arogue, or I use the Arogue effect to get my Rested Dawn, and then he's gonna swing 11k to uh, to my Baby Five searcher. So. I just used the, the the leader effect to arrest the uh, Vega Punk, but there wasn't really any point. And um, he uses the Dawn to um, to play a uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, I forgot what his name is. I don't know what his name is. Uh, but yeah, it's basically a filter card or a cycle card for yell yeah, for the Vega Punk. Um, but I play the five drop Bonnie here, freezing his Pythagoras, and then I play another Baby Five Searcher, searching the top five and I get a 2k from it and then I just swing 5k to life which I don't I think he tra or he countered out um but then uh he plays a seven drop mom and then uh he 
I give him a life and then he also heals a life. So he's at four life now. Um, and I'm on my eight dawn turn, or no, nine, nine dawn turn, sorry. So I play the Rosinante and then into the Rosinante I play the other five cost Bonnie that I had. So I freeze his Pythagoras. I swing 6k to his life and uh, he doesn't use the trigger. I don't think he could have used the trigger. I'm not sure. Or no, he doesn't use the trigger. I was expecting him to, but he didn't. Um, and then he got a Luffy from his... Uh, from the 6k swing I did with leader, he grab, he got a Luffy from the top trigger, so he trashes my rogue. And that kind of sucked because now I can't use my leader effect. Um, but it is what it is. And then he uses a... And then I think I passed turn at that. Yeah, because I didn't want to give him another life and have it potentially be a trigger where he plays a character. So he swings 9k, 9, 9K, 9K into my Bonnie, and I counter it out. And then he plays a 8-drop Katakiri, putting the Rosanante at the bottom of my life. So now I think I'm at like seven life. Uh, so I just play a 10 drop Dofi, freezing his Pythagoras and his big mom. And I'm just gonna try to go for his board here. Play the, or I swing at the Pythagoras and he lets it die. And then I'm kind of debating if I, if I wanna, you know, give him another life so he can play the Shaka, but I don't. So I just pass turn at that. Uh, he swings 10K to my baby, or not to my baby, my Bonnie. And then he plays another eight drop character, or category. Uh, putting the other Bonnie at the bottom of my life. So now I'm at seven life. Uh, before I was at six. But I play another 10 drop Dofi and I just freeze his Katakiri and his big mom. And then I'm just gonna keep going for board here because eventually he'll run out of cards and he can't put more stuff into his life. So uh, I'm just gonna keep going for his board here. Uh, he counters out of the Katakiri hit and then I swing at his face uh, and he gets the Shaka trigger so yeah, and then he swings 8k and uh, 6k with the Shaka and the Katakiri and then passes turn at that. Um, I unfortunately do not have another Doflamingo, so let's see. If I would have searched with the Baby 5, it would have been nice, but uh, I, I don't, so I get the Arogue instead. Play the Arogue, and then here I'm just going to go for board once again because he does have a lot of big bodies on the board. Uh, so I'm just going to get rid of everything. And I don't have to worry about leaving a Dawn up for my leader effect because of the Arogue. So... I get rid of the two big bodies he has, and then I pass turn at that, setting a Dawn is active with the Arogue effect. Um, so now I can either rest his Yamato or his Katakiri. I'm not really scared of the Shaka because I can counter out. But with the Shaka, he swings into my Bonnie Searcher. So I'm gonna use my leader effect to rest the Yamato, and I let the Bonnie, the Bonnie Searcher die. And then it's gonna swing 12k into the Doflamingo. I'm gonna counter out to keep it up because I'm just gonna keep going after his board with the Dofis. Um, and then he plays an Atlas and puts a, uh, fuck, what's that character's name? An Edison. Uh, he puts an Edison at the top of his life. So I play another blocker just so I can defend my Dofies more. Uh, I play the Basil Hawkins blocker and uh, I'm just going to swing with the rest to his board. He lets his Yamato and his, um, uh, his, uh, Katakiri die. He lets his Shaka live though. He counters out with the Luffy card, the kid Luffy card, which I was not expecting. But uh, yeah, he adds a life or a card to his life, and then he's gonna swing 10k to me, and I'm probably gonna take it because I'm not really worried about dying anytime soon with all of my life that I had. Um, but yeah, once again, I'm just gonna keep going for board because uh, I have less life than him, so I can go for his Atlas, and then I'm gonna swing 6k into the Shaka. He lets it go, and here I'm. I'm just like, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let him get more cards yet. Uh, I probably could have. Because I wasn't really too worried about anything, but uh, he just adds life to his. Uh, he adds a card to his life, and then he passes his turn at that because he can't really do much. So I swing 6k with the Cavendish. Uh, he gets a Pythagoras trigger, and then I swing 6k once again with my leader, and he uses the Nico Robin effect to draw two cards. And then I swing 10k. He doesn't get a trigger off of it, so we're chilling. Uh, now I'm kind of debating if I want to keep swinging or if I want to just pass turn at this. But I swing 13k because might as well use up my Dawn. There's nothing else for me to do. Uh, so he takes it and it's a Lilith Searcher trigger. So he gets a Shaka from the search. And then I'm going to probably just swing with the, the uh, Arogue and then play the another Arogue from my hand so I can just keep using, so I can have another blocker up. So I have two blockers up and with the Arogue effect, I get the rest of Dawn back as active. And then he uses the Kid Luffy card here to get the Luffy, the 5-drop Luffy from his life, giving a plus 2k to his life, I think. I don't remember. Oh, he, I think he, yeah, he uh, trashed the Arogue. 
So here he's just kind of swinging into me and I'm countering out or taking the hits. And then he passes the turn. I have two 10 drops and then uh, two, uh, you know, I have two bodies on the board. And then my leader swings, so I'm chilling here. Here I'm just probably going for game. Uh, he has two cards in hand, plus 2k, so I'm going to swing um, 8k to a 7k life. He's going to take it, and now it's like, okay, well, I can pretty much just get all the cards out of his hands and then go for game with the with all the Dawn and the Dofi. So I swing 7k to his life, and then he just disconnects at Tat because he only had, I think it was a 2k counter. Uh, so yeah, we get those dubs. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, expect more content to be released soon. I always say that at the end of my videos, but I do keep up on the grind. You know, it's just I have work, so there's not a lot of times where I can uh, record videos as much. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be playing Bonnie more. I might play some Red Green Law as well. I do have some footage. I just need to get more footage so I can make a video for it. So expect Bonnie and Red Green Law for sure. I'm not sure about Yamato because I haven't been feeling good about Yamato. But uh, we'll see. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.